Hi, this is Paul City Sailing. Uh, I want to talk to you about the Blue Bridge. We all go over the Blue Bridge and we've seen it as an iconic for um, the Isle of Dogs. But the Blue Bridge was never its official name. Um, it was opened in 1969 on the 1st of June. And it's actually the fifth bridge to cross um, here since 1806. So it crosses the West India South Dock. The first bridge was made of timber. It was only 45 foot wide and the entrance of what was the 1806 City Canal. That's the canal that crossed the island and met the river in the west. Uh, where the location of the city arms is. The bridge survived until 1842 and was replaced by an iron swing bridge. Then, due to the increasing size of the ships, they decided to widen the dock entrance to 55 feet. This was done between 1866 and 1870 and the construction of the third bridge, which was an iron swing bridge. This is a photo of the swing bridge, which you can see in the distance, and also the bowsprit of a vessel in the Bay Graven dock. And this is a close-up of the swing bridge. When this new bridge was constructed, they changed the uh, road, so they moved it slightly to the west or to the right looking up. And as you look up the road here, we can see the cobble road, which is still there now, to the gates to the Dockland Scout project. And the main road goes just to the right of that. So if you ever wondered why that cobble road is there with the beautiful houses and the Ladbrokes uh, betting shop, it was the entrance to the original bridge. I always wondered that. So the new road goes slightly to the right and across the Blue Bridge as it is now. The fourth bridge which is the one before the Blue Bridge we have now, uh, was so-called a double rolling bascal bridge. And this was invented by a chap in Chicago called William Scherzer. Um, it was put there in 1929 and it was really noisy um, and it groaned every time it opened and it could hear, be heard quite a long way away. And it was known as the Noisy Bridge. This is Cathy Sark coming through the fourth bridge before her refurbishment for the Festival of Britain. And this is a vessel going through at the fourth bridge and all the traffic stopped when the vessels came through, which is known locally on the island as a bridger. So if anybody wants to go to school and say, I'm late for school, sorry sir, I was caught by a bridger, it means that they were stuck on the other side of the bridge when it was lifted, um, a common excuse used for people being late for school. This is the installation of the Blue Bridge, which was in 1969, and you can see the design's got a huge counterweight um, to help lift the bridge, and it lifts the bridge up vertically, which allows ships with masts to be able to come through with the bridge up vertically. This is a vessel coming through which was taking the George Green Youth Club many years ago on a trip to Holland. It will be lovely in the future to take a trip of young people from the Isle of Dogs through the Blue Bridge uh, back to Holland or further afield in the future. Recently I was lucky enough to see the tall ships Tenacious uh, lock in through the Blue Bridge into the West India Docks. Here she is coming round Blackwall Point. It's the last of the tide so she's coming with the tide up the Thames. Rather than turn to starboard and go sideways onto the tide to come in through the dock, She's run up with the tide, she'll go further up the Thames, past the uh, dome, swing, and then come back in the other direction. And it's a much better angle to be able to lock in um, through to the Blue Bridge. For the purpose of this video, I have doubled the speed. Yeah. Barriers down. I've sped this up so because uh, it happens a little bit slowly, so the ease of the video. So the bridge um, fence folds down, and then the bridge lifts. So we can just see the bowsprit of Tenacious poking around the corner, just like a tall ship in the old days coming in to lock into the. Uh, West India Dock and the bridge opening up lifted up by the arms and the weight taken by the counterbalance on the other side so the bridge lifting up the traffic having to wait and as I said earlier this is known as a bridger so if you get stuck on the other side, you have to wait for the bridge to open and then the ships to come through and the bridge closed. Um, if you're delayed, you can always say that I'll oh, caught on a uh, caught on a bridger. So you can see the lifting arm comes through, the little doors open and it comes through. And with this count counterbalance design, it will go straight up vertically. And this is Tenacious, which is the uh, Jubilee sailing project. She takes disabled people sailing and she's actually made out of wood. So she's a wood. Um, square rigger 
sailing ship, um, sail training ship for taking disabled people out sailing. And here she comes in, as I said before, she's come, she's gone up the river, turned round, coming in, and the tide is slack as she's coming through into the lock. And she's just coming into the lock. The bridge is now fully open and should be able to go straight through with the bridge vertically open with total clearance for the uh, the bowsprit and the masts. So this is greatly speeded up. She came through a lot slower than this. And she'll go through the rig will clear and she will lock into the other side. They'll close the lock gates, equalize the height of the water into the dock and then um, she'll be able to go through. And as soon as she goes through, the bridge will go down and you'll hear the, uh, the noise and the bridge operators have to let the emergency services know this bridge was slightly delayed so you'll see an ambulance was uh, just on its way through as they put the bridge down so it just got there in time speeded this up for twice the speed uh, just to make the video go a little bit faster for you. Tenacious, lock through and you can see the blue ridge in the background. This was taken from one of our plastic fishing trips in the docks. Uh, we have videos of the plastic fishing trips. Thank you very much uh, for watching our video on the blue bridge. We have lots of other silly sailing videos on navigation, um, seamanship and a lot of other fun stuff including trips in Scotland, St Kilda. So please like and subscribe and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Cheers.